Hi and welcome to another video by Jim the Car Guy. Today we have a 2005, it's a Jeep Grand Cherokee with a 5.7 liter engine. The complaint is today is that the, uh, the customer was driving, the check engine light was illuminated previously, but as he was driving the oil pressure light lit up and it stayed lit. He said periodically it'll turn off and then every couple of minutes or so it'll turn back on and he hears like a bell ringing inside the vehicle. So I'm going to bring you in there. I'm going to show you what's going on. The oil pressure light is on. Uh, he did drive it in, uh, and when he did drive it in, there is no knocking or, or tapping or anything going on inside the engine, which is a good thing because we know that it didn't spin a uh, bearing or, or, or a few, uh, oil pump failure or anything like that. Um, of course, the first thing we did is we checked the oil, and as the customer tells me, he checked the oil himself and he added a couple of quarts to it. And uh, after I just checked it now, I can see he's over by a couple of quarts. So it's never good to add oil until you know for sure that it needs it. Um, let me bring you in now. I'm going to show you what, uh, what's going on, and then we're going to figure out what's, what's happening with this car. So come on, let's take a walk in there. Okay, so this is what's going on with it. Let me start it up, and as you can see, the check engine light's on and also the oil pressure light is lit also. Uh, now, the reason I do have this running um, and I'm not concerned about damaging the engine is because there is no noise underneath it. The customer has been driving it for a couple of days, if not a week already with that light on. So I have a feeling that the oil pressure switch is gonna be the issue. Okay, so looking at this, uh, at this, uh, this uh, diagram here, it's a fairly simple circuit. Uh, it's a three wire connector on the back of the switch. We're just going to unplug it. We're going to check for a 5 volt reference. We're going to make sure it has a good ground. And this is the signal wire that actually goes up to the uh, to turn that light off for the for the uh, for the oil uh, pressure. So uh, it's going to be a little tough to film this, but I'll do the best I can underneath the car. So uh, all right, let's lift it up and let's take a look and see where it's located. Okay, and this is where our oil pressure um, sender is actually located. It looks like it's down underneath the vehicle. Um, so we're going to have to lift it up. We'll pull that cover down underneath the bottom and we'll see what that switch looks like. All right, as you can see, looking underneath here, it's a little bit tight where we have to go. Where we need to go is actually right inside, up in the back, right back in there. We're going to need to get in there. So that's where the switch is located, so uh, that's what we're going to do. Uh, we're not going to take the filter out. We're actually going to remove the skid plate underneath the bottom right here. We're going to take the skid plate off to gain access to it. So uh, let's do that and uh, we'll see how much room we get. Somebody put the wrong bolts in there. See how much room we have up underneath here now.
All right, I'll bring you up there so you can see what's going on, get an idea. It's going to be a little bit difficult to film this, but I'll do the best I can. That's the switch right up inside there. So uh, I'm going to unplug that plug right there and um, we'll take that out and I hope you can see what I'm doing but we'll see how it goes. Okay, we're going to push that little clip to unlock it there and then we're going to push that little tab right there in and you just rock it and you unplug it. And we're going to get in here now. I'm going to have to... Well, we're going to check in here now. We're going to make sure we have our, uh, our power and our ground. And uh, then we're going to replace the switch. I can already tell you the switch is no good because it's leaking oil from the inside of the switch. When you have oil coming out of a switch like that, that switch is no good. So uh, I'm pretty confident we're just going to have a bad switch. But we're going to test it just to make sure. And uh, we'll continue and we're going to get it. We're going to take this out with a socket right up in here and we'll take this uh, this unit down and uh, we're going to replace it. Okay, and now that we have this unplugged here, we're going to get our, our um, voltmeter and we're going to test for power and ground. And if that checks out okay, then we're going to go ahead and replace that, that switch up there. I know it's a little dark, but that's where the switch is located right there. Uh, I know that the switch here is no good by looking at it because, as you can see, it's leaking oil inside there. So either way, we're changing that switch. Um, but let me just check this, and uh, and then we'll come back. Okay, as you can see, it's a really tight spot up there, but I just want to show this to you. Our voltage is okay. We have 4.99 volts, so we know that we have the power to the switch where we're supposed to. We're going to check the ground now to make sure, but uh, I'm pretty confident we're just going to have a bad switch. So before I go any further testing anything else, we're going to place the order for the switch. Okay, as you can see, we're just checking to make sure that there's no leaks on that switch at all and it's nice and dry, it's bone dry, nothing's leaking. Our red tab is locked back in place to keep that harness connected in there. And that's it, we're all done. All right, so I'm not gonna bore you with putting this cover, I should say, that cover back on. I think you can know how to do that. It's four screws and it's done. Okay, that's it, we're all done. I just wanna point out one very important thing to you. Um, I didn't tell you about this before, but I did change the oil in this. And the reason I changed it is because the oil was over the dipstick, over the full mark by at least two, maybe three quarts. So we did change the oil and filter as, at the same time that we, uh, that we did that oil pressure switch. As always, thanks for watching. See you on the next one.